Okay, let's go ahead and look at some vowel diphthongs. Today we're going to be looking at O-I and O-Y, which both make the OI sound. Now, sometimes it gets a little tricky when we're trying to decide if we spell using O-I or O-Y when we hear the OI sound. Let's look right here. It says most of the time when the sound comes in the middle of the word, we're going to use O-I. If the OI sound comes at the end of the word, a lot of times we're going to use O-Y. Okay, so let's look at our first example. We have noise. Our OI sound is coming in the middle of the word, so we're going to be using O-I to complete the word noise. Let's look at our second word, enjoy. The OI sound is coming at the end of the word, so in this case, we're going to use O-Y to complete our word enjoy. Now let's look at our next word. Our next word is boil. In the word boil, the OI sound comes in the middle of the word meaning that we're going to be using O-I to complete our word. So, we're going to spell boil, B-O-I-L. Our next word is going to be the word employ. In the word employ, the OI sound is coming at the end of the word, meaning we are going to be using the O Y to make the OI sound. So we will spell employ E M P L O Y. On to our next word. Our next word is choice. In the word choice, our OI sound is coming in the middle of the word. Because it's in the middle of the word, we're going to be using O-I to make the OI sound. Meaning we'll spell our word C-H-O-I-C-E. Our next word is spoil. In the word spoil, our OI sound is in the middle of the word meaning we are going to be using O-I, and we will spell the word spoil S-P-O-I-L. And now on to our final word, annoy. In the word annoy, the OI sound is coming at the end of the word, so we will be using the O-Y to make the word annoy. So we'll spell annoy A-N-N-O-Y. Okay, just remember, when we are using that OI sound, when we're having to spell it, a lot of times we're going to use the O-I in the middle of the word, and we'll use the O-Y if the OI sound is at the end of the word.